an important life lesson you need to learn from a frog. Frog is a creature which can happily live in land as well as water, right? Most of the uh, creatures like fishes who live in water, the moment you put on the land, it will die, right? So uh, same way, the creatures which are in land, unless they know to swim, they will die when they get into water. So this kind of adjustability is there with the frog. Now let us do an experiment with a frog, right? So you put a frog into a boiling water. So the moment it goes into the water, it understands it's too warm for it to live and it may not survive inside, right? So it will jump off immediately. However, if it is put in a cold water or room temperature water, it happily stays there. And once it finds the comfort, like it, uh, like it is, right, it's a normal water. So here you put this frog and then it finds the comfort. Then you slowly start heating this water. The frog will start getting adjusted to the water temperature. So now what happens? The frog is slowly getting heated and it does not realize that it is going to be a threat. And when it continues, the frog does not want to jump out because it, it started liking the place already, right? It knows how to adjust as well. So it adjusts on and on. It keeps on getting heated, but still the frog does not want to come out because it finds the comfort zone there, right? The moment the water starts to boil, the frog realizes that, okay, it's going above the head and it may not be able to survive. And now if the frog tries to jump out, it cannot because it is already boiled and the body is tired and it cannot jump out. So what happens is the frog gets cooked within the hot water and knowingly or unknowingly, it cannot come out because it did not take the decision well in advance. So this is the same problem that can happen to human as well, friends, right? So we adjust in life for many things. And every time you adjust, one of your thoughts or one of your habits die like this frog. And if it is a bad thought or an unnecessary habit, it is good that you burn it, right? You boil it like this. So say, for example, you like to eat sweets a lot. And with your circumstances, with your knowledge you gathered from everyone, you stop consuming it, right? So it is a difference. So you're taking a decision to adjust uh, with your mentality and now you're slowly cutting down on your sugar. Now one of your uh, frogs are being burnt or you know boiled but still you're happy right so because you are living a healthy life. So anything that you are boiling like this any frog any thought of yours you're boiling like this that will lead you to happiness in future. Please do that. However think before you get into Boil some of your thoughts which are important for you in life. It is like a life goal. You want to become an artist. You want to become a, a coach. You want to become someone, um, you know, some of your professional in, a, in your field, right? So you want to become someone like this and that is your lifetime goal. And if you start compromising on it and say stories like, okay, my family will not allow me or my time is not sufficient for me, anything as such, my current job requirement does not allow me to do it or anything as such, that thought also will be boiling like this frog. Do you want to let it go like this? If no, then start taking action from now on. Analyze what is your frog that you never want to lose, that is your thought and your lifetime goal and never ever compromise for that. You must be ready to compromise anything else for that. If you want to wake up early, you need to wake up early. If you want to do some uh, exercise out of it, if you want to spend some money for it, you should be ready to spend some money for it. So make sure that you never compromise on losing your lifetime goal. Think this in mind. I'm sure you will love it. And if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Please share it with people who you think are boiling their frogs without knowing. And this is going to help someone. Thank you so much, team. Bye-bye.